and then a lot of stuff about stuff about the 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 i know i can't say this on um youtube when it comes up uh i i guess you might bleep it the the, the pen stuff yeah I don't know if I should say this. Oh, it did work. Hello. Can I see? Oh, hello. Hello. I'm trying to... My camera won't set up. The good one won't set up for some reason. Oh, good. Okay, so you're having problems as well. Good. <laughs> well, it took me about 40 minutes. Sorry. No, you're fine. Oh, thank you. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Ha-ha. Everything has worked finally. Yay. That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible with a computer. Sorry. No, you're fine. I'm not. If I didn't have to work with them, I wouldn't be as good as I am with them. I don't. What do you do? I don't know what you do. Uh, I work in the financial department for uh, Verizon. That sounds like a very grown-up job. It is, <laughs> but it's good. It's good. Um, I I've worked very hard to get to here because I um, in 2021 I graduated from college, and that was a surprise. Why was it a surprise? I never thought I would get that far at all. Oh. Out of everything, I never thought I would, but I graduated and I got my associate's degree for business school, so. Well done. Business well done. management. Well, that's ruined one of my questions later. What are you proud of? <laughs> what are you proud of in life? I think that's, is that the main one? Well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I'm proud of. Um. I'm trying to look in the camera now. You can like have two cameras here. I'm trying to look at it, so it's like I'm looking at you. Uh, well, it's like that's a good idea. I'll do not that. just of graduating college because that was, I mean, I graduated throughout the pandemic, and that was that was hard. I'm not an online learner. I'm an in-person learner. So when we had to go, well, everything shut down. You're gonna have to do it everything online. It's like, oh no, oh <laughs> you just. Okay, so it was a, that was like a little bit of a process because I was delayed in graduating due to the fact that I was struggling with some math classes and some um, uh, business courses, the business math and uh, the business law, because I didn't have anyone in front of me to go, hey, okay, let me, you know, I'll come help you, I'll come here. It was just very much like this as a teacher, wait for them to get back, but I can't really point out exactly what it was, but I, I still ended up graduating, thank God. And... Like after, like I got my GED because I, I never graduated high school. I didn't, I didn't get to, but I gra got my GED and I was super proud of that because I never thought I would even make it that point. And then when I got my college degree, I was like, oh my God, I just did something I never in a million years believed I could do. And I did it. Well done. Did you celebrate? I did. I went to Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have that here, but it always sounds nice. It it is. It's really good. I liked it. It's it's weird. It's weird to talk to you because I've just been watching you on my screen when I've been like making the the video. So it's strange to go from I'm just watching you. You just you're a character on the screen, and now you're and now you're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, when I was watching your video, I was like, oh my god, I'm so young. <laughs> I look so different and when I was showing my friend that she's like oh I feel so bad for you and the whole time as I'm looking at like close up somebody I'm like my hair <laughs> my hair my hair is gone well like I am I definitely do not have a lot of my luscious hair I used to how, how, how old were you in those videos I was 23 with that video I was 23 and now I'm 31 so that was a while ago and that was before I started testosterone and after it just like it snapped it, it just took away my a lot of my hair and I'm just like my luscious locks 
but it was so weird just to see me like that because I don't see the changes. I will I will be honest. I don't see the whole change in me. I just see me every day. So it's like I've gotten used to like, okay, yeah, I don't think I look different. But seeing it and hearing my voice, I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> who is that? It's not me. It's not my voice anymore. Was it, um, was it weird seeing your younger self? Did you, did you? It is. What, what did you, did you feel sorry for your younger self or what were you thinking? When I seen my younger self in the video, cause I don't go back and watch that video. I was very adamant of, I released these three and then that was it. Yeah. And I didn't want to go back to it. Didn't want to touch on it. Cause our relationship was very turmoil to me. It was very traumatic and it was a lot of turmoil in it. So I was like, okay, I did this, that's it. And rewatching it, I was like, there is so much pain in my eyes and so much hurt. And the reason why there was, and I never said this either in the video, the reason why there was so much hurt is because about, let's see, she released that, I don't know if it was in May or like within the summer she released it. I just know it was sent to my then fiance, we're no longer together, my then fiance and, um, while well, she was at work actually and she messaged me and said don't open your facebook don't go on youtube just don't 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 go on social media until i get home and i'm like well why she's like just don't just just wait till i get home just just play video games or something but don't go on social media and then when she got home she was like i was sent this and not only was she sent that I was sent it. A few of my friends were sent it. My sister was sent it. It was just, they found, so it's like, and when, that's why I got mad when she's like, I didn't even mention who they were, but they found me. They found me and my family and my fiance and friends. They were just like, oh, like just distributing it. And I was, and I got mad because back when you seen those uh, messages when she was asking me those questions that was like like in the beginning of that year and i and i like when when someone said you know would you ever forgive her i tried to huh. i reached out in olive wrench saying hey and i remember exactly what i said i said we were kids when we were together and we had no business being as serious as we were because we were kid i was a kid you know, yes, she she was older than me, but she was still, you know, 18, 19, 20, uh, you know, we were young. We were young and dumb, and we thought we knew the world, and we didn't, and I hope she's living a good life. That's literally what I said. Like, we were young, bury the hatchet. Well, you know, I hope you're doing well. She told me about her YouTube, how she had 600 subscribers at the time. I was like, cool, you're doing good. I'm glad you're doing well. And then all those other messages came up and then later on that year she met she makes that video and i'm like why i wasn't even like and we weren't even talking back and forth every day it was just like she asked the question i'm like uh, okay or i would just like i would see that she messaged like oh well i have things to do because at that time i was with my then fiance she had a son i was taking care of him you know i was sick and i wasn't working at the time because i i had a stroke so i was like you know, there's a lot of things going on in my life at that time. And then we moved from Alabama back to Arizona. So it was like, uh, there was a lot of stuff going on. And then to learn that she did that video after I didn't even like, it was like, Hey, I was saying, hope you're having a good life. We were young, you know, buried a hatchet. Obviously she buried the hatchet in my back. So. <sighs> Well, you're, you're, you're nicer than I am. I wouldn't have been uh, so forgiven. So you're, you're nicer than I am. I I don't try to carry a lot of anger towards people. A lot of people wronged me, but it's a waste of energy to keep that, like, just to hold on to it. Like, I've had a lot of people do, you know, things that Amber has done to me. I've been, you know, not to go into a lot of details, you know, I've been cheated on in many relationships, even after her. You know, one person asked if I'm, you know, uh, what was it? That if uh, Amber affected my relationships. And I would say not just her. I was scared of being treated like she treated me 
but the cycle kind of continued for a while because again i was still very young when we even broke up like she was the only serious relationship i was from 15 to 18. i spent my teenage years with her and that's the only type of relationship i knew so going into other ones i'm was un unfortunately mirroring that of being like taking like having people take advantage of me or hitting on me or you know just being mean to me and i that's all i knew until i was like till me and my ex-fiance broke up and after that i was like no more no more no more of this no more of that and i started to stand my ground and it's not a lot of people like that <laughs> when the pushover suddenly gets a spine and they're like no 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 more so now i'm just i'm single because i just don't feel like i can trust anybody i don't trust that someone can actually love me or me but i'm it's not that i'm sad being single i'm actually i'm happy i'm happier than i've been in a long time i think i really just needed just to just be by myself how um how long have you been single for uh, about going on three years the last person i dated that was the last that was kind of the strata broke the camel's back you know, I'm not going to name names, but we we were very serious. And I came to find out she had a whole ass fiance on the side. So, and she knew about the Amber thing, of course. You know, everybody from that point on of the video knew, knew who I dated. And uh, she knew about it. And I was upfront with her, like I'm upfront with everyone I dated. If you don't want to be with me, if you feel like the urge to cheat, break up with me i it will hurt me less than knowing that than knowing that you you're cheating on me or you left me because i don't know but just don't cheat on me that's all i want just don't cheat on me be honest and be like hey it's not working out okay not working out i'm not gonna get on my knees and beg and plead and cry it's like okay i'm, I'm too old for that it's like okay go on live your life then and so after after my recent ex i'm just like i can't like this is this that broke me so hard because i i was i was very much in love with her i really thought she was the one out of everyone i dated i really thought she was the one and unfortunately she wasn't and she took advantage of me and i just i was like okay well it's over and you know, I don't care how much you say you love me or whatnot of your relationship. You actively chose to seek me out to be with me while you were engaged. <laughs> and I've been through a lot of scenarios like this. So that's why I'm kind of like, I just, I'm just single. I, I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I don't want that anymore. I'm 31. I'm too old for this. I'm, I, I'm too old for it. Well, you've had no luck uh, dating. I'm <laughs> I don't look that old, but I feel it. Definitely, I feel <laughs> I'm 35. I feel old. Oh, you're not that older than me. Not by much, but I'm I'm having to start me. Uh, I have to do 20 minutes of stretching in the morning just so I can move now. So you've got that to come. That's yeah. good. <laughs> um... You said you had a stroke. I didn't know you had a stroke. Yeah, when I was uh, 22, I was, oh, it was scary. I was, I was in Alabama and I was on the phone with my mom and I just started feeling really like head was getting fuzzy and I was just like not able to catch my breath. And I'm like, oh, maybe this is an anxiety attack. Huh. And as it was going on, I was like, oh, and I would tell her, oh, mom, I, I, I'm going to go. I, I, I don't feel good. I'm going to. I'm gonna rest and lay down, and I, it was like when with our bed at the time, it was literally like the desk, and then right next to the desk was the foot of the bed. So it wasn't. It was like literally just up and turn and go to the bed. And I remember standing up, turning to go to the bed. I took a few steps, and uh, my 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 you know fiance at the time was like grabbed me. She's like, "You okay?" And I was like, "I can't breathe." I can't breathe and she was just like okay look at me and I was like trying to look at her and she said that this side of my face was falling 
and I was like, oh no. And so I had to go to the hospital. How, um, how long did it take you to recover from that? It took me about almost a year. Um, it wasn't a, a very serious, I mean, the, the, the strokes of course are serious, but it wasn't like life threatening in a way, I guess the way they put it to me, but it was, um, it damaged my nerves in this arm to where like, like I can lift, like, thank God I'm right-handed. Like I can lift stuff and whatnot, but it takes, it took me a lot of effort to get strength back in this arm because it was very much when, when they wheeled me in and they were trying to they're like, okay, squeeze this hand and I would do that. And they would have me squeeze their finger with this one. And I was, it was like, took all my strength just to close my hand. And so it took a, about a year for me to get movement in this one. But even then, like, I still can't like grip too hard with this hand when I can with this one. And it's like when this one, this one kind of feels like it has a delay in movement because well, of everything. And it just like, it scared me. I was so scared in the ambulance because I was, felt cold. And then I, I dumbly looked up at the heart monitor and my heart was going from, you know, dropping to 50, then it would go back in the hundreds and it would go down, down to the fifties. And like, they're looking at, they're looking at it. And I'm like, oh, and they see me look at it. They're like, oh, just, just relax. And I'm like, I can't. <laughs> and they were trying to, and they had to like, physically move my arm and my leg and like and they were and because I just couldn't lift it I couldn't do anything and I, and I just kept thinking to myself I am 22 I'm 22 having this I shouldn't even be having this at that age but doc and I even told the doctor that and it was hard to talk and he's like it doesn't matter what age you are you will you can have a stroke at any age it's like oh well and it, it scared me and I was like, okay, no, I gotta, I wanna, I started doing stuff to better my health. And I mean, I, I still have to like get my heart checked and that's just, and that's not just from that. It's um, because I was adopted. Uh, I have two sisters, older sisters. One has a hole in her heart. She was born with a hole in her heart and one was born with a missing valve. So uh, we're prone to heart problems and I have to get it checked to make sure nothing is huh. wrong. Oh my God. The only one who good is my little brother from the, and uh, <laughs> he doesn't have anything wrong with the heart or anything like that. I'm like, you're lucky. You, <laughs> you're lucky. Um, how's your, how's your mother? How's your mom? She's okay. Um, from that video that was years ago, she is, she slowed down a lot. Unfortunately, she has slowed down a lot. Um, she's needing to use her cane now. Now she has a cane. She's on chemo shots. The chemo pills didn't work. Um, she, she has different pills that she has to take to kind of just keep her going. Huh. But on her paperwork, it looks like that she is a approaching renal failure and she has lupus but um so it's kind of like a, a day by day thing and she, she's 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 a little spitfire because i even though she should take her cane out she's like i don't want to i don't want to look old i'm like mom you're 64 <laughs> you need and then she'll be at the store i should have brought my cane <laughs> yeah she doesn't want to admit her age or anything like well who does when they have all all that but she's She's doing, um, my mom just came in my room. <laughs> doing her hair. <laughs> does she, does she know that you're doing this, this chat? Yeah. She does. And I showed her the video. Oh, no. oh boy. Oh, no. <laughs> I showed her the video. I had to sit her down and explain to her. Amber didn't do this. <laughs> It was a documentary. It was me. It, Sorry, she didn't do it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, it's just, it's fine. It's it's okay because she, you know, she had to witness a lot of my, you know, being upset that it's like, why why is this following me? Why does this always have to follow me? Like, I had a friend in the UK, and they're like, you look familiar. Are you? And I was like, do you know that? And they're like, yeah. So I'm like, it reached that. Far. Obviously, it's reached that far, but it's like. For, I'm so, and that's another thing. I'm so scared to date because I don't want them to look at me and go, 
You're the one from that Amber drama. Yeah, I am. And I'm not going to deny it. Like, there's no reason to deny it, but it's it has affected me going forward. I was like, I am so private about certain things, like at my job, when I was at school. You know, even things I do now, I'm private about it because I know, you know, with working with things on the internet or working with anybody, this the video could be out about it or they could have seen it or they could have, you know, they could have followed her. And I don't want anyone to, you know, I'm just me. I'm me. I'm not, I'm not the person from the video. I mean, I mean, I'm a person from the video, but I'm not just a person from the Amber drama. I'm literally me, just me. And that's all I want to be seen as is the work I do, the things I want to do. And it, it's scary because I am uh, like I do do moderator stuff for um, like Discord and like uh, streams and stuff like that. And I in that part of my life, I do not even mention I've had a YouTube. I don't mention anything like that because they are people who are online and that could just like take my everything that I've worked for away. Well, that, that was going to be one of my questions. It, does the whole Amber drama, does that still follow you now? Does that still affect you now? And obviously, it does. It does. And I don't... I don't know what her goal was with that, especially saying that she did not mention me and no one knew who I was, which was a lie. Again, I, I still go back to that. I'm sorry I'm going back to it, but I just don't understand how she still said that when people found me. They found they found me, my friends, friends that I've had for years, family. Like, it's sad to know that all that was spread to them, and I had, I had no idea until later that day when I was sat down and shown the video and I was so mad. I was so mad and hurt. I had tears. I was just, I was destroyed. Huh. And I sat there like, what do I do? And they're like, make a rebuttal video. I said, but what is, what is that gonna do? And I mean, obviously it did a lot. I did not realize how much it did. And I did get videos from, I got video messages from her on, I, I used, I, I know there's like a little bit on the video you, you seen. Yeah. Uh, or the stuff that you saw. Um, there was more of those, but I wasn't going to post them because I'm not that petty. But there was lots of them of her crying, begging me to take them down. And I'm like, no, <sighs> like you did this. Mm. You did this. You think you can, you can tell me to get, take this down mm. after you did this. You can take yours. I mean, she did take hers down, but people got it already, and and obviously it's uploaded everywhere. Yeah. And I'm just like, no, no, I'm not taking it down because you reap what you sow. You did this, and I'm gonna leave this up, and I will leave it up for years and years to come because I'm not gonna get bullied off of taking down my my truth. I think even without your your rebuttal video, I don't think anybody believed her video because it's terrible. It's just it's awful. I've not I've not seen anybody who can watch who watches that video and thinks, oh yeah, I believe it because it's just ridiculous. So thankfully, almost everybody doesn't believe it even without seeing your video, or even without seeing that that video I made the other night. You don't even have to watch any of that. Just watch her video and look at how ridiculous it is. The way you cut it to, you know, show exactly what she said and then what I said, I was like, wow, I like, and I hate that she lies. I do. And I'm going to be nice, you know, and uh, like I told you last night, she was in school to be a social mm -hmm. worker and she was in school for a while to be a social worker. She was doing good. She was getting good grades. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to like degrade her on it because she was. She was getting good grades and passing all her classes. She was doing so, so good. And when she went with Crystal, she did not continue her education. She was eight months from graduating. She would have had her social worker degree. She would have, even if she decided to still continue YouTube, she would have had something to fall back on. A degree, a, you know, to, to, she wanted to help kids in her 
and that were in her position, but she didn't follow through. And it makes me sad because it's like, you were so, you were doing so good. Like, even if you didn't want to continue it after you got your certificate, you should have still got it. It would have helped you later on in life, at least. And I feel bad. I, I feel bad that she didn't continue her education because she was doing so well with it. What what made you um, what made you comment on the video? Because I was I was falling asleep last night. The video went up. <laughs> I was getting a good reaction. I was like, ah, oh, good job done. And then just as I was going to sleep, somebody messaged me saying, um, Casey's commented on the video. Casey's commented on the. So I woke up. Oh my god, he has. Uh, and then I started talking to you on Instagram. I've had no sleep. I had about three hours sleep because I was just. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's my, <laughs> it's my fault. I made the video. Um, I was just buzzing that like your message and that you were you were okay with it. Because when, because when you were messaging on Instagram, I, I could see you typing. I was like, oh no, oh, what if he says something horrible? What if he hates it? Oh no. Um, but thank yeah, thank you. Uh, you're okay with it. I was sent that link while I was at work, actually. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, I just got off of lunch. Like, I just got off of lunch. And I was like, and then I just see a message. And I'm like, who's requesting to message me? Is this someone from my old high school or something? Because I have, I have, after all that incident and stuff like that, I have Amber's, like, not Amber, I have her blocked everywhere, well, one. And then I have a lot of security on my stuff. So that way there's no snooping or anything like that. And I, they said, hey, someone made a video about you. Um, his name's Mr. Snowflake. Here's the link. And I was like, what? No. And I, I got scared. For one, I, at first I got scared because I'm like, oh, no. If it's, if it's this big to get people to go, hey, like, here, here's the link. I'm like, oh, it's starting again. Yeah. This is something I'm terrified of. I do not want this to start up again. And I sat there and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to watch the video. And I sat there, I watched 15 minutes and then I called my friend. I was like, you need to watch this with me. <laughs> I can't watch it alone because I was just like, I was shaking. And like, when I first saw the, your opening, I was like, oh no, he's an, he's an Amber supporter. I'm going to get, I am going to get roasted <laughs> like no other. And then the video continued. I was like, oh, oh, he oh okay. It's fine. Oh. Phew. And I was like, okay. And all right, this is, and I sat there and I watched the whole thing. I was going to comment throughout the video, but I was like, and then I stopped. I was like, you know what? Let me watch it to completion. Then I will make my decision whether I comment or not. And as the video kept going on and I was hearing Amber say a lot of things and they got my blood boiling. Huh. I was like, mm, okay. Yeah, I, I know that story. I know that one too. I know that one. I know that's a lie. And I, and then when she got to the point of me making fun of me for having tape and everything oh, like yeah, that, yeah. it just. I had an ex-girlfriend named Cassidy. She does not look like a girl. Mm -hmm. she like she, her, she taped on her boobs on purpose. So they'd always think that was a boy. So it was just really weird. Cause I'm not into that. And you have to be like, I don't like them like that. <laughs> it broke my heart because she never said anything to my face huh. when we were together. But to make fun of me behind my back and everything like that, it's like, okay, well, that's fine. You know, that I know how you really think. But, and then a lot of stuff about, stuff about the, the, the I know I can't say this on um, YouTube when it comes up. Uh, I, I guess you might bleep it, the, the, the pet stuff. Yeah that really like i had okay so this is what story not a well not a story this is something that happened that i was debating back and forth of saying i've said it to my friend and you know told her what happened and i was like i don't know if i should say this but i never said it in the original video because that's not what it was all about i wasn't about all this i was just about hey i didn't do that when we first started dating, of course, online, and the site was Moco Space, hmm. that horrible site, it's Moco Space. And um, I was just, like, with the story of how I met her, I'll, I'll start with that, is that I did meet her there because I was going on those chat rooms and stuff like that. And I was 
15, I just literally came out. I did not like, and in being 15, you see all your friends, you know, that you're close with, if they're in relationships or not, you're like, I don't want that. Huh. But in the early 2000s, that was very hard to do with someone who is gay, straight, bi, trans, what not have you. That was very hard and very not really accepting that much back then. Yeah. And so I went on Moco Space and I was like, okay, you know, as a 15 year old, I sh had no business being on there. Now that I'm older, I'm like, how did I not die? <laughs> how did I get captured or God? And I used a fake name, the name that she said. And at the time I put Amara because um, that was the name that he gave me for him. I used that fake name because I couldn't trust anyone online. And I was like, ah, I'm not, I'm not, I was at least at 15 year old, at 15 years old, smart enough to go, I'm gonna use a fake name. And the name I chose, if anyone's curious about why it's that name, it is the English name to Sailor Uranus because I love Sailor Moon, Sailor Uranus, I idolized as a kid and her English name is Amara with her Japanese name being Haruka. So I used Amara because Sailor Moon. And that's where that came from. And I that's what I used because I couldn't trust anyone online. You don't know who they are. You know, it was the early 2000s. You too, who? But eventually I did tell her. She was upset. Here are the facts. You lied about your name right off the bat, but still called me insane. But it was just really for my protection. But um, when it was still long distance, I, even to this day, I am not very fond of spicy pictures being sent. Hmm. I'll put it that way. I'm not very fond of it. I don't like doing that. I, I'm not. Well, when, when I was at my Nina's house and I was texting her and whatnot, she wanted a spicy picture. She was asking me about this for, for a couple, for a couple weeks. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. And I was 15. Again, I was 15, 17. And I just kept telling her, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not comfortable with that. You know, why do you want this? Like, I'm not comfortable. And she didn't want like front. She wanted, you know, the, and uh, <laughs> like, she, that's what she wanted. She wanted the blow the belt. And I was like, oh, well, um, no, I'm not comfortable. I was, and I just kept saying, I'm not comfortable with it. But then she said, you know, and I wish I had my old phone which was a little tiny, like sliver Motorola. But, you know, I, she said, you know, if you don't do that, I, you know, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to break up with you. Okay. And at 15, okay. hearing that from someone who you're dating, you're just like, oh no, I don't want to lose the only person who's actually attracted to me. Yeah. And okay. I, I did it. Yeah. And I didn't like doing it. I didn't want to, but hearing the, if you don't do that, this is going to happen. I was like, oh, well, I don't want to be single and not have anyone who cares about me like this. So I guess I will I'll do it. And I did it. And do I regret it? Yes, I regret it. And, um, being that the age I am now, if I had a kid who did that, I would be like, oh, no, 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 no. You don't need to be with that person. You don't need to be with anyone like that because that's, I mean, that is distributed, dis, distributing, just of, of, uh, or not. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That was one of the things that, and I, I didn't say that in that part because it's like what I posted years ago was about clearing my name. This is about everything else I never got to say. This is why I wanted to do the interview because this is everything else that I, I didn't get to say that I've been holding on to, that I've been struggling with. And people don't know. People don't know exactly what I struggled with and exactly what happened besides like oh i did not do that you know and this is this is what happened and why i didn't do that this is 
you know, every, everything else that they want to know. But I, I will say, I'm not going to go into weight. I'm not going to go into hygiene. Y'all know this already. <laughs> I've said this in many things that I have posted about. I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not petty. I could be petty, but I'm not petty. And I'm not going to degrade her in hygiene or weight wise because we've seen her videos. We've heard, you've seen my receipts. You can come, you can piece together all that from there. Like you say, you're nicer than I am. I'd be really petty. I'd show everything. So you're better than me. So you were you were in an online relationship for a year, weren't you? Yeah, a year. It was from July to actually July to July, and then we went to go see my nana in California in Stockton. Um, and she was like, okay, well, we'll meet because she lived in, she lived in California too. I, I cannot remember the city. California is so big. I cannot remember the city. All I know is it was about, I think an hour or two away from Stockton. And, um, so that's when we met and that was the first time she, I lost my virginity. There you go. That That's a thing I can say. That's the first time. And first meeting she was, she seemed like she was legitimately who she said she was online. And then, you know, when she had to leave and, you know, I was sad, of course, you know, at that time I was 16, you know, of course I was sad and stuff like that. We still texted and everything like that. And she was going to come back down for my birthday in an anime convention. And, you know, she did that. She, you know, she came down, that was in November, you know, she came down in November because, um, well, for the last week of October, because the uh, convention was Sabaton and it was on Halloween. So we did that. I paid for everything going up there. You know, I even got us a ride with my friend and we stayed there all three days, came back and um, she was going to stay till my birthday and then go back home. Hmm. And that's in that month we discovered she's not going back home because she, they don't want her back home. So that's, is that true? Because a lot of people think she made it up that she was kicked out by the grandmother so she could stay with you, but that's, that's true. So yeah, that is true. Yeah. She was kicked out to the extent I don't know, but I do know they were having problems getting along, um, even before she came and, <laughs> but for her, for the grandma to just, and the mom to just spring it on us is kind of like, and yeah, my mom was mad. Like I said in the video, my mom was mad because she, we were, and then in that, that house, it was like, uh, can draw you it actually. So our studio, it was literally just like, not even studio. So you would like come in from right, right here. And then, so when you would come in from right there, between this would be like the living room area. And you would have the kitchen and then this there was a wall that had like a little dip like that <laughs> that separated the bedroom back here and then the bathroom back here from the living room and the kitchen so it was really not a one bedroom oh i'm sorry i'm not <laughs> ready to show me <laughs> yeah so there was um so like this was like you would enter from here yeah this would be this would be the living room, the kitchen, yeah. and then this wall separated the the bedroom. But you had this little dip in the wall right here, and then the bathroom was back there. So it was really just like a, a studio with a wall. Like I said, hmm. it wasn't really a one bedroom per se, and it was small. It was really small. We had to move there because um, we were beforehand before um, when I did meet Amber. We were in, me and my mom were in a two bedroom apartment, but they raised the rent and at, and she was single mom. And she's like, we can't afford this two bedroom. So we had to move there because it was cheaper and she could afford it. And we were on food stamps, you know, she was getting child support for my dad. And, you know, she couldn't afford another person. She could not do it. She could not afford it. And yeah, I did fight for her to stay because one, I was a teenager, you know, oh, it would be cool to have my girlfriend's day. And then two, because I felt bad. I felt bad. I did not want her to get kicked out. She had nowhere to go. Even her, I don't even think her foster family would have allowed her back. So she was going to be homeless? She was. She was going to be homeless. And 
so she stayed but even though she stayed it was okay at first mm -hmm. it was fine at first and then it spiraled into not fine at all it got to it got really bad it got really bad um within the year i will say within the year it got really bad and because she was 18 you know my mom's like yeah, like she said a job or going to school and it was a fight for either one it was a big fight because i was you know i was going to school and she was home all day and she wasn't cleaning or anything like that like very rarely and my mom was at work all day my mom worked at the hospital as um the janitor and so she was gone like at that time because she just started that job from another one she was working third shift so she and third shift or she would have to like go overtime and come in either at first shift or second shift. like she was on all three shifts because she was like they were trying to see if they're going to hire her she was in her probation period so she was taking third shifts second shift you know first shift and sometimes she would you know get off work come home go to sleep and have to go for the second shift and then come back home like she was all over the place until she finally got a schedule and it was like it was eating at my mom and then you know her boyfriend you know was there and yeah, he was working for a little bit at the time that he got social security. Um, he didn't move in with us till summer 2010. And um, it was, and, and she was fighting it. She was fighting it. Like it, it has to be either or. It has to be either or. Either go to school or work because something has to give. Well, she went to school, you know, and which I, again, I wish she continued her education. She did get food stamps after after a while she did get food stamps um spending it to help the house was very rare i won't say she never did it but it was very rare and sometimes it was a fight and then sometimes like her foster mom would help her with paying her phone bill or send her like a gift card for christmas mm -hmm. to torrid um i mean she wasn't what she says when she said she had nothing it she didn't have nothing she had people who were trying to help her like in her foster home oh god that story like in her foster home i understand that it wasn't you know being in foster care isn't a great place i mean i uh, uh, and i do want to correct this i wasn't in foster care i was adopted like right right after birth like i was adopted right out of the hospital so i didn't go through foster care i do know my my birth family though but i don't i i was adopted right out of the hospital but her, I know, I, I I had friends in foster care. I had I have a friend whose mom is a foster mom, and so I've been around a lot of these kids. You know, even growing up, and I, I see that you know it, they are sad. They are hurt. They do miss their parents. They wonder why their parents aren't like that. And it's like, you know, it's heartbreaking. But her foster parents did. They were pretty. They were pretty. You know, good as they were to her i don't know the whole story like there's side a there's side c there's middle b i will never know and but they did build her and her brother their own room she wasn't happy with it i'll tell you that right now she wasn't happy with oh, it she God. said it was so small and i get it it was in the garage but they built them both a room that way they were no longer sleeping in like the living the, the kitchen area so they built them their own rooms it wasn't that big it wasn't that flashy but they gave them their own rooms they built it for them she got her own bed she had her own space and so did her brother when you say um it got bad after about a year what what was happening after a year i know you mentioned a little bit in the in your old videos but when um it started during the summer and we were Again, I cannot remember what, why we argued. I will never remember why we argued. I just remember the shock and the, and the, you know, fear. We were, it was because we didn't have a bed in the living room yet. We didn't have a bed in the living room yet. We had a, my Nana Monica's old couch and, you know, and then the floor. And so we were, you know, she, sometimes she would sleep on the, a lot of the time she would sleep on the couch. I was constantly on the floor. <laughs> and, um, we were watching music videos on TV. You know, I, I know there was a song on, I can't remember the song, but it was, uh, I know the song that played beforehand was Bulletproof. We were just watching music videos and I don't know why we got mad. I don't, I don't know what started the argument. I just know that 
she had this look of anger in her eyes and grabbed my arm so tight and she left nail marks. Huh. And I was like, what? Like, that was the first time she ever put her hands on me, ever. And I was like, what? What? Like, I was confused. I was so confused because that, I, I've i seen people, you know, abusive relationships on TV shows, movies. I never thought, you know, you never think, oh, that, that won't happen to me. And the minute that happened, that's when it started to spiral down. And it was really bad when it started to spiral of the hitting of the, oh God, I was having an anxiety attack before school and this is before like I could really like get control of it over it like I was still like figuring out medications for it Hmm. and uh I called her and I was like and I was crying I was like you know baby I I can't you know I'm, I'm having anxiety I don't know what to do and she screamed at me over the phone I don't even know what she said because the scream was so loud she just screamed at me over the phone And you could tell she was in the bathroom and because it echoed and it just like, you just hear like, and I was like, well, I'm sorry that you're mad. And then she screams, I don't care. Hangs up. Okay. And so I was like, okay, well, okay. I got to deal with this alone. I got to deal with my anxiety alone. Okay. And then she texts me saying, you made me get upset at school. You know, I'm yelling in the bathroom. People are looking at me. Didn't have to yell, but okay. She did not like me going out with my friends. I lost a few friends because of her. CJ and Cheyenne, uh, like I said, you know, CJ. uh, Yeah, she got her number. And I still feel that punch to this day on, on my arm. Like that was... That was a very angry punch to my arm. And CJ is no lightweight. She can punch. She could bun- punch a bull unconscious, I swear. <laughs> and she like, and she just comes up to me. Why did you give Amber my phone? You know, my phone number. And I said, I didn't. Like I, like, I would never give Amber any of my friends' phone numbers because I knew that the chaos would ensue. Oh. And she showed me the text messages. And I cannot remember what they said. But she, but when I went home, I said, did you text CJ? And she did admit that she got my number from my phone. Because I would take a shower in the morning before school. I guess while I was in the shower, got my phone and was like, oh, I'm going to get this number. She didn't like CJ. She didn't like Cheyenne. But she hated Alex. Alex she that. absolutely hated my best friend, Alex. Hated her so much for, I don't know what reason. Maybe it's because Alex seen through her. Maybe it's because Alex didn't put up with her BS, mm-hmm. but she absolutely despised her. And <laughs> I confronted her. Um, I wish I had those messages. I deleted everything from her after that whole scandal fiasco um, because she tried to add Alex on Facebook uh, before the whole video came out. <laughs> and I and Alex messaged me saying, why is Amber trying to add me? I hate her. She does. She hates her. She hates her. I, 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 you know, she hates her. She, and I said, I said, I don't even know because yes, she does hate you. And like that story is every time I hung out with Alex, I would tell her, I want to hang out with Alex. Alex is my best friend ever. You know, we're as close as cousins. Like I, we are, she's still to this day, you know, my friend and you know, my best friend. And when it came to hanging out with Alex, I'd be like, I want to hang out with Alex. Please don't cause a scene, nothing. I'm just going to get lunch. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do that. I was still a teenager. I wanted to hang out with my friends, but it felt like I was in a very abusive marriage, like Mm -hmm. marriage that couldn't, I couldn't do anything. And she, and she would tell me this all the time. Yeah, you can go hang out with her. Yeah, you can go hang out with her. Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can. Okay, you're going to be good with it this time, right? Yeah, of course I will. Are you sure? Because last time, no, I won't do that. I promise, I promise, I promise. Broke promise every single time. Every time she would get mad at me, tell me I have to come home or I'm going to break up with you or I'm going to leave. I'm going to get on the bus right now. You won't see me again. And Alex was getting frustrated with it. And I, I can't blame her because I would sit there distraught. You know, I'm 16. I'm distraught because... 
I'm getting threats of my, you know, girlfriend saying, you know, you're hanging out with her. If you don't come back home right now, when I want you to in the next five, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, you're going to, you know, I'm going to leave you and you'll never see me again. And I, I'm going to break up with you because, you know, you're not coming home. I'm like, wow. And she full heartedly believed I was sleeping with Alex. Huh. Full heartedly believed. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not sleeping with her. She's like, I see her as family, even to this day. Like, we don't even say like, we're friends at this point. We're like, oh, that's my cousin. Oh, that's my cousin. I could never see, I could never see her like that. And like, I don't understand where that came from because we never even shown that. Alex, you know, had brought her boyfriends around. She knew the boyfriends Alex was dating at the time. Alex... Ne we never had that kind of relationship ever nothing like that but she was convinced i was sleeping or cheating on her with alex and when i confronted her when she tried to when she tried to add alex that time and i confronted her saying why are you trying to add alex you hated her i never hated her yes you did you could yes you did you you said that i was sleeping with her you were convinced that i was ha cheating on you with her no i wasn't i never said that yes you did <laughs> yes you did you know everyone remembers this my alex remembers this my friend cheyenne and cj remember this my mom remembers this no i never said that i never said that and after that message i was like i cannot be her friend I'm not, I, I can't even be like a, an acquaintance at that time. Like I can't even reach out an olive branch because it's like, you are lying to me. You are lying through your teeth. Well, uh, you're remembering stuff wrong. Oh no, no, you can't play that with me now. You can't play that with me anymore. I am not remembering wrong because that was the remaining of our relationship. That was a year and a half of you saying that. And if Alex came up at any time, my goodness, you were extremely mad. And so when she was like, oh, you're, you're, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. You know, you're, you're not remembering things wrong. I don't know what you remember, but that never happened. Okay. I see how you are. You're not, you haven't changed. Goodbye. Do you think, um, do you think she thought you were cheating because she had cheated it? Because that's what they say, isn't it? If you're cheating, then you're going to suspect your partner. Even. So do you think that's why? Because she was, yeah. I think, okay. So I don't think it was that. Hmm. Honestly, because when it came to that open relationship thing, she did not like any girls wanting to be around me. She wanted it on her end, but she didn't want it on my end. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, and then the way I work is like, fair is fair. Okay, then. And she's like, well, why? Why, you, you know, why you want to hang out with her? Why, you know, why? I'm like, well, you're doing this with Crystal. Well, Crystal's not here. That doesn't make a difference at at all. Well, Crystal's not here. Well, you know, I, no, I'll be upset. I'll do this. I'll do that. And it's like, oh my god. So she wanted it to be. She could do whatever she wants, but the person she's with cannot. Yeah. Um. You said um last night when we were talking, you didn't know she was intimate with Crystal that time. Yeah, I did not know. She told me she was not. That yeah. they just cuddled and slept together, like slept next to each other yeah, yeah. together. And I was like, uh, and the, here's the thing about that too. Here's the thing about that too, that I don't even think Crystal knows. The night she was intimate with Crystal, hours before she was intimate with me. Yeah. And I'm just like, how can you be intimate with me and then go and then be intimate with, okay. Have you got any negative feelings towards Crystal? No. No. Honestly, I will say this. I have no negative feelings of to any of her exes, to anyone she's dated. I have, like, Crystal, from what I, you know, I I haven't heard or seen of her since she left um, that night, which I know there was a question about that, about, like, how long did it take her to leave? Uh, and I'll get to that. But I never seen hide nor hair of her after she left. Huh. And, but Crystal, I will, Crystal's a sweet girl. She's a really sweet, you know, that. timid girl. Mm -hmm. And I, like, like I said, with the story about the iPhone, well, not iPhone, wow, the iPod okay. touch, you know, the ancient thing. Now, she made her cry over the face of 
the phone, which is like, dang, someone's getting you. And they were like 200, I think $300 at that point. Like that. And like she was willing to buy her a brand new iPod touch, you know, that slick touch screen one. Hmm. And she was, and she just asked a, a question, you know, do you want this gigabyte or this gigabyte? And she just made her cry over it. You asking me that, and I then, like I said, it's burned into my head. You asking me that is like ask is like me asking you if you want a purse or a wallet or something like that. Because I know Crystal wasn't about purses; she was a little bit of a tomboy. And she and it just like like dang, someone's getting you an iPod Touch, but like why are you making her cry over that? I defended Crystal that night. I defended her because I I was like that's wrong. You need to apologize. I made her apologize to her. Did, did she apologize? She did. Oh, in, well a way. <laughs> in a way, in her own way, in an amber way. Okay, so not really. <laughs> in an amber way. Um, but it was like I, and when when I learned that they broke up, you know, I was sad for her. I was sad for 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 Amber because it's she seemed like she really was head over years in love with her and I and I felt bad you know it's like oh well, I'm sorry and she said that she you know Crystal wanted to try to be with the guy and that's why I don't know if that's true that's what I was told I don't know if that's true for everyone out there I don't know if that's true that's what I was told and I told her I just hope you don't treat Crystal you know, or do anything like that that you did to me. And then she did admit that she's hit her before. She said she hit her once. Once. Do I believe it was once? No. When I seen the end of your video, my friend was like, I got chills going down my spine. I said I did too. Well, yeah, I'm because... going. Sorry, go on. Oh, no, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, yeah, I was going to bring that up. I was going to say that, that, um, there's Ask FM, the Ask FM post saying once, yeah, Amber said if you hit somebody once or twice, it's not abuse. It happens, you slip, it, it ha <sighs> Well, I'm, I'm, I'm editing um, part two now, I'm editing the Crystal episode now. It's awful. It's absolutely awful. Because I, I was making a series on Amber called Shit by the Algorithm. And I didn't really cover the Crystal era, because I didn't think I was going to go in as in-depth. So I didn't really know what she was like with Crystal, but going back for this, it's just awful. It's just so depressing. I'm just sat there watching somebody else be just treated. Just, it's so sad. It's so sad. I feel so bad for her because I know how Amber was with yeah. me. And I was, like, Crystal is a very, like I said, Crystal's a very sweet, and gentle and timid girl. Yeah. And she didn't deserve any of that. Whatever that happened, like I said, I'm gonna watch your video. Like, I, you know, I don't want you to give spoilers or anything like that. I'm gonna watch your video of, of it. But it was, I'm so scared. I'm terrified to know what happened. I'm terrified. I only know a little bit what happened with Becky and Destiny because I had a friend, well, I have a friend that used to follow her and uh, she told me about Becky. Yeah, yeah. And oh my God, I was like, uh, "That's that's the part where I won't be nice." But, um, but I, like I said, I don't have any negative feelings towards any of her ex, any of them. I mean, when the whole thing happened with the with the video, Destiny didn't send me a a, a message, you know, a little, little threatening message, but. But nice. I don't hold that against her because it's like you were with Amber, you were doing what you believed was right, and I'm not gonna hold it against her. I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't hold that against her at all. It's 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 the it's it's the veil that Amber puts on people. It's it, that's what it is. She she puts a veil on people, and they can't see past that veil. And so it's like, and then what once they are away from her it's like and i've seen it i've seen it like with the video with um that you have when when you show uh destiny and stuff like that i have not seen anything with becky i've only heard but when i seen the the, the video with destiny talking i was like that veil was lifted i can tell i can tell when that veil is lifted oh. because it's just a look of just sadness a look of sadness and just i have to say regret sadness and regret and just like they just 
don't have any love for themselves because of what you know they probably regret amber had them do mm. or amber you know what they ever convinced them to do and i feel like i said my heart goes out to all of them i don't i'm not i'm not upset at all of them i don't hate them i don't hate you destiny i don't hate you becky i don't hate you crystal i just wish you guys find happiness and happiness away from whatever she put you through it, and please please find happiness it, it will you know and to becky because i know a little bit about what's going on with her it will get better it will take years but it will get better and i promise it will get better and just just love yourself you know you'll you'll when you're ready to find someone else or you know when you when you when someone comes around and you feel like you're ready to be with them or try again you'll you'll know you'll know in your heart you'll know in your heart and you'll know in your gut you know but uh, becky i'm so sorry she put you through all that especially with your mom i'm so sorry oh so becky uh I, i'm nowhere near the becky episode but I've, I've i've watched everything on that and yeah becky is just oh it's, hard. it's like it's like crystal it's like yours it's just I just, I just sit there all day making these videos and it's so it's just so depressing becky yeah becky gets it bad yeah i can't i can't imagine someone with a heart and a soul keeping someone from seeing their mother who's passing on no one with a heart and a soul would do that to someone and then to sit in it like i said this is what i've been told from a friend who's seen the videos with um with becky to sit in the car and do like oh. stuff on their phone while your partner is having to pick out a headstone for their deceased mother that you wouldn't let them see uh. is disgusting so Becky and her sisters are across the street um, looking at headstones and I'm just feeling sort of emotional and I just want to be there for her and out of respect I didn't obviously go over there so tell me how come the guys who are against gay marriage are the guys who watch lesbian porn and get turned on by it my mother-in-law essentially is like not here anymore and it hurts and at that point when i heard that happened i i can never forgive amber for anything not even for my stuff for anything she's done to people there is no forgiveness there is no there is just how can you be this person like, how can you think that's okay to keep her from her dying mother, to keep, to not support her while she's picking out a headstone because she, this is the only thing she can do for her mother because you wouldn't let her see her. If that was my mom and someone's like, you can't go see her because she's dying. I'd be like, well, then we're done. And I would run to the hospital. Like there is no one on earth that can keep me from seeing any family member, any friend that is passing away in the hospital. I feel so bad for her. Like, my heart broke for her. And even now, like, I just get this knot in my stomach that's just like, that's evil. That's not, a, that's not just abuse. That's not just a horrible person. That is evil. That is evil. Well, that's, yeah, that's a word I've been using recently is evil. Because um, I think a lot of people don't really know what she's like. They've, they've come to the this section of YouTube late in the last few years and they see her being silly and um, failing at weight loss and she's a bit of a train wreck. I don't think a lot of people know exactly how evil she is. She has definitely honed her skills over the years. Yeah, yeah. Awful. And... Um, sorry, go on. No, 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 go ahead. No, no, go, go on, you, you first. Oh, <laughs> I was just saying that when she was with me she was very outwardly mean yeah. she didn't hide it she didn't try to mask it but hearing a lot of stuff now i'm just like she has had time to hone her skills and her and it is not like it's scary it's terrifying mm -hmm. it is terrifying
Um, I was going to ask, uh, what did you think about um, Amber copying your coming out story? That was, the first time I watched it was actually with your video. <laughs> that was, it, was it? I don't follow her. Yeah. I don't follow her at all. I don't watch her videos at all. I, I refuse. I'm not, I Good. refuse. So everything I, every, all the videos that you've compiled in these series that you're going to do, this is the only time I, I'm watching her videos, but I'm giving you the revenue, not her. So, uh, <laughs> um, I, when I seen that, I was like, oh, Okay, that's fine, I guess. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't, because it's like, okay, if you need that, that's fine. That, it doesn't bother me, you know, did, whatever. If you if you need to use it, fine. Did, did, did she ever tell you her real coming out story when you were together? You know, I don't remember if she did or not. Yeah. I really don't. I don't, I cannot remember worth the life of me, whether she did or not. She copied. I mean, the... even if she did, at this point, what was what's the truth and what's a lie? Yeah. Well, I was going to say, she, I mean, she copied yours word for word. Um, oh, yeah. that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I, I watched, I watched your videos, and then I watched hers, and I was thinking, I've heard this before. Have I watched this? Have I watched her say this before? And then I thought, oh my god, she hasn't. And then I went back, and I was like, oh no, it's <laughs> it's word for word. It's ridiculous. It's word for word. Word for word. Oh my goodness. I mean, I had a. I think the last video I did to address her was like a couple years after that, when I found out that people, or that she was claiming to have written stories about my characters. Like, because I love, obviously, even to this day, I have my Naruto shirt on. You can see the background. I love anime and I've made OCs and I have stuff on. You know, I've written stuff on uh, fanfiction.net and um, our archive of our own. And I found on Kiwi Farms when Kiwi Farms was a thing because I was just searching for stuff on my like on my story because I forgot what one was called and I was trying to get back into my thing. And it was like, oh, Amber writes this. It's a it's a story about this Kia person from Sailor Moon. I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, uh, and I got mad because I was just like, she knew how much I've worked on those characters. She knew that, she knew that, she knew that. That's my fanfiction.net name. But when this Kiwi thing came up, someone said that when they Googled, you know whose name, I'm not even gonna mention the name, y'all know who, that it was her story and it's called Stormy Night. I wrote it for my character. That character is a big, 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 big part of me. I have worked on that character in OC for Sailor Moon since I was 11 years old. And I and I made a video. I was like, they ain't hers. <laughs> Period. I have all the proof. I have all my drawings. I have everything. Those are not hers. Those are mine. And people are like, well, why do you want to claim such bad work? I'm like, I was young when I made that. And even if it was bad, that's mine. That's mine that I worked on for me. She copied... Um... You just in, in the video I uploaded the other night, you said she copied um, your anxiety diagnosis. Was it anxiety or panic disorder? Yeah, I was diagnosed with um, anxiety okay. and depression. Well, severe anxiety and depression. And she, she started to have that after me. But I actually, at this point, I'm going to say this. I did not know I had depression hmm. when I was younger. They diagnosed me as schizoaffective disorder and this is the first time i'm actually saying this out loud because i've told people this before and they're like oh you're dangerous i'm not dangerous it's it's just you look it up it's not dangerous it's not i'm not like out there but i was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder um and wrongly and <laughs> now it's now it's changed to you know depression anxiety severe depression and anxiety and and I was like, I was on medication after medication. Oh my God. I hated having to tweak my medication because someone make me feel like a zombie. Someone make me not be able to sleep. Someone just make me just like so lethargic. Hmm. And it was like, and she's seen the medication I was on, but then suddenly she was also having anxiety and stuff like that. And I don't know when she officially got diagnosed, but it wasn't with me. When she was with you, did she have any other disorders because in the crystal episode i don't know how many i must have a hundred 
examples of her saying, I was diagnosed with this when I was 13. I was diagnosed with this when I was nine. Did she have any anything when she was with you? Cellulitis. <laughs> yeah. But that's, 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 <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. And, uh, and <sighs> cellulitis and, and something else that's very personal that I... I, I I don't want to say because it is very, it's very personal and it, it goes into the um, parts I don't want to talk about, but that, that, and uh, that's it. That's, that's, that's it. all I know of. Okay. So she didn't have these hundred conditions and disorders then? No. no. I'll prove all that in the crystal no. episode. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I obviously have missed a lot out of the years I've been MIA with everything. Yeah, well, uh, well, the, these these four episodes, you, Crystal, uh, Destiny, and Becky, oh, and, and Wifey as well, the other one. Um, it'll, it'll go. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, uh, um, okay. It'll go into everything. So as much as I can find, it'll go. It'll go into everything. But um. Crystal one is very depressing, so there's a spoiler. It's gonna be awful. Don't watch it. It's awful. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, I want to know what happened because it's like I don't want to. I, I do want to know what happened, and like I said, my heart goes out to her. I'm so sorry. I mean, I know it's not my fault, but I'm so sorry. Like, I hope people in the future will see these videos and go. Oh, like maybe, maybe we shouldn't date her, or maybe she should get help. She needs help. She needs a lot of help with whatever's going on. She needs help, or just not to date anyone because, you know, she is just not who she says she is on the cam. No, I mean, you know, she's not who she says she is on the camera. Though it slips through, and I've seen that it does slip through. She's just. I wish she, she would have lived a better life than this. I had hope. I had hope that she would live a better life after everything she went through in her past. I would hope she did, but obviously it was not in the cards, I guess. Do you still, um, do you still hope she turns it around and she becomes a better version of herself? I hope she can find a way to, but the hope is a sliver. That's fair. I mean, my uncle told me the worst thing you could do is give up on someone, but, you know, like I said, I have a sliver of hope, and, but that sliver can either be distinguished, extinguished if I hear anything else of, of her repeating actions from the now five of us, I should say, the now five of us. Yeah. Um, or after the Crystal video, I don't know, maybe I'll change my opinion on that, and I'm just I'm so scared about that one, I'm so scared. It's awful, I've, I've seen bits, I still haven't even finished it, um, I think after the Crystal one, just... I think you'll, your, your little sliver of hope will be gone. Oh, no. And then it'll be gone yeah. at Destiny's, Becky's is gonna ruin all your, all your hope, definitely. Wow. I mean, Becky's... With with just the whole thing I know about her mom and and the, and the gravestone and that already that 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 maybe I don't have any hope left I can't lie. <sighs> well, the, the, one of the big things with the with the Becky when she was going out with Becky is she would be really mean to Becky when 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 Becky wouldn't drive her for food when she was wanting to binge when she was wanting to eat. Was she ever like that with you or your mom? That if you, if she doesn't get her own way, she turns into yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, she was like that. Not as bad as what I'm hearing from people saying with Becky. Huh. I mean, she has now money and a car, so it's like that. Yeah, of course it's gonna be, I guess, worse because you know she can financially abuse people now. But no, not. She would get mad if she didn't get her own way, but she, um, it wasn't as bad. It was more like a uh, a, a temper tantrum and just yeah. pouting. Um, if it was really bad, she would like say nasty words, but not as bad as what I'm hearing lately. When, um, you know, you said after a year turn and, and started to get physical, 
grabbing your grabbing your arm. Was it like I don't know a couple of months in between the the violence? Oh no! Oh, oh so it was all. Oh no! It was. It, oh no! It was. It was. Once that happened, I will say it was probably a couple of weeks between, and then it was just full blown. Like I, like I said, I would go to school. I would have like green and purple bruises on my arms where her fingers were grabbing me and stuff like that. Um, it's hot here, so it's like I couldn't. I didn't hide them with the. You know, because I rode a bike to school at, at, at sometimes when I um, had a bike and the tires didn't pop. But I was like, oh, it was a bike accident. It was a bike accident. And but you could tell they were fingerprints. You could tell. Yeah. You know, it was, you know, she would hit me. You know, like I said in that video, like clearly my mom and Dave were not there. And, you know, there was that her dresser, the table, our bed. And she just started hitting me i can't remember again i don't remember the arguments and i know it's probably something over something dumb yeah. but she just started bap, 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 just like and i'm just like oh what the and then one time we got in an argument and she stormed out and i was like i knew i had to go after her and she was running away from me like a little game around the apartment complex and my friend nick came out and he's like she's and then he caught and he like you know, stopped her and, and he's like, what are you doing? And she was just like laughing and like, huh, I'm going to run away from you so you can't catch me. It's like, yeah, like she would see me and go the other way and go the other way till he was like, why are you doing that? And then he like made her stay. And I was like, why are you running for me? And she never answered me. And she just like had this goofy smile on her face and just like, eh, I'm just playing. Did you ever, when all this stuff was happening, did you ever think, okay, I need to break up with her now? There was a point where it got to, but it was a long time coming because again, I was, I was a child and yeah. I did not know any better. You know, going from 15 all the way to 18 with this person, you don't, you really don't know, like, and I hate to say it, and because I, I, I know how teenagers think. Of course, I was one guy. I feel like my parents. When you're 15, you don't know anything. <laughs> you don't know the consequences of a lot of things that come. You are a child, and you're just developing. And you should just, you should never be in a situation like that. You shouldn't. You do not know any better with certain things, especially with adult situations, which I was in. And so it took me a long time to go, she's never going to change. This needs to end. And I would just hope she wouldn't hit me. I would hope and be like, you know, what can I do? What can I say? What can I, how can I act? And it was never, it was never going to change. I had, you know, there, oh, I had a, I was going to, I couldn't find it, but I was going to take it out because I still have that paper and you can still see the mark. I love to draw. I adore drawing. I love to draw. It's always been a stress relief for me. And I was working on a collage, like I was drawing different versions of Sailor Uranus. And she was across from me on the table doing homework. And I, she would always, okay, I'm good. I'm good at history. I'm good. Math is hard, but I'm good at history. I'm good at history, language arts, whatnot. And she was struggling. And I'm like, let me help you. Let me help you with this. Let me help you with this. And she was just like, you're in high school. I'm in college. You know, it's different. You know, degrading me. I'm in high school she's in college so obviously i can't help and i'm like okay and i just sat back down and started drawing again like all right i'm not gonna that's how you're gonna be that's how you're gonna be i started drawing and she said something and i retorted in some way and i think it was i retorted in some way probably you know saying what she said before to me or saying something a comment of whatever she just said to me because I think she needed help. And I'm like, well, I, no, I think she said, you know, I need help. I'm like, well, I'm in high school. I can't help you because I was mad. And she gets her pencil and just rams a line through my paint, my, through my drawing, a dark, just, and I sat, sat there and I looked at it and I was in shock because I was, I, my prized possessions has always been my art. Hmm. I love every art thing I do. And I was, I was working on that piece for at least a month. 
And she, when she did that, I'm thankful the paper didn't rip, but I just stared at it. And she got up and walked to the bathroom. And I just stared at this. And I'm like, oh, no. Like, and I started carefully erasing. I was able to finish the thing and I was carefully erasing it. But to this day, you can still see that line through it. And she just like, she came back and she's just like, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, you know how I feel about my art. You know, and that was messed up. And she did the same thing with when I would role play. You know, I role played online and she saw, you know, when stories back and forth and she saw that the story was, I didn't know she was staring at me, like over my shoulder, looking at me type. And she saw that the story was getting a little spicy and she grabbed my phone out of my hand and chucked it against the wall and it, psh. What, what did, did she apologize? What did, what did she do after that? You know, I, you know, I don't like that stuff. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. And there was times where, you know, there was a time where I got money for Christmas. My Nana would send me money for Christmas or my birthday because my birthday lands literally exactly a month before Christmas on November, in November. And I went and I was like, ooh, Black Friday, you know, because I wanted two video games. I had a DS and a PSP. I still have my PSP. <laughs> my DS has died, but, and I, you know, I knew the two games I wanted. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get these two games. And I was like, I have the money for it. Sweet. And I went to Best Buy. We went to Best Buy and I got the two games and I was so happy. I was like, yeah, I've been wanting to play these games. Put it on the conveyor belt. And she looks at me and she starts getting an attitude. And I'm like, what? What's wrong? Nothing. Okay. And, you know, we're in line and it's on the, you know, we're waiting and she's like, and she's still mad. I said, what's wrong? She's, and she's like, well, I think it's selfish that you're getting two games and I'm not getting anything. But it's my birthday money. But it's my birthday. I, I told you I wanted to get these games. It's my birthday money. And then right when we were right there in front of the cashier, she goes, if you get both those games and you don't just get one. I'm going to be really mad at you. And he walks out. And I put one of the games back and I only got one. I got Crisis Core. Oh. And I walked out so defeated. And because she wanted something with my money. But then when um, I called her Paige, but I but you said the name, it was Julia. But I don't, call her, I don't know why I call her Paige. But she sent her money out. After that fact and I said well you know are you gonna spend some on me well she said that I'm not allowed to it's, and I'm like oh it sounds exhausting so I have to spend my money on you but when you get money yeah. you don't have to do you don't have to return the favor I get it I understand that okay and I was mad I was like okay and I told her, next time I get money, I'm not spending it on you. Because if this is how it's going to be, that's not right. What's, what was a typical day like? With She wasn't awful every day, was she? Or was she? She, you know, she liked her Kardashians. And I ended up, like, you know, I would sometimes watch it with her. You know, play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Nice. Take turns with that. You know, sometimes go to the store and stuff like that. No, she wasn't awful every day, but you know, the days of her being okay and not awful were becoming too few and far in between. And it was getting tiring and exhausting. And I loved being at school and away from everything. And at one point, well, everything just bubbled up on me. And I never said this, like I was a senior in school and we had the LGBT club. It was just called LGBT at the time. Don't come for me. And <laughs> it was early 2000s. And I was sitting there and I remember they had a video about how, you know, rainbow students, I'll say it that way, rainbow students have a higher chance of unaliving themselves. 
and I was watching this and watching this, and I had tears in my eye. Everything with my mom's boyfriend, everything with Amber, because, you know, when I would have anxiety, Amber's like, I'm going to go wake up your mom and Dave, and they're going to be mad at you if you don't quit. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I had to kind of just suck it up. And um, I just remember seeing this video, and I burst, like, after, like, everyone left, I just ride. I ride because the night before, I attempted to um, off myself. I was just tired of everything. And I had the plan in my head. I was like, if I, and I was going to take a bunch of ibuprofen and a, a, another bunch of pills. And I know I probably wouldn't have done anything. But again, I was a teenager with no thought on it. And I was, and I had a plan. I was like, okay, you know, if I take all these, I lay down, go to sleep. You know, if Amber doesn't care to find me in the morning, then my mom will find me in the morning or someone will. And my teachers were just like, oh my God. And I was just like, okay, yeah, this is a thing. And they, you know, they had to investigate a lot of it. But at that time, you know, because I was 17 at the time, this was like probably like, three to four months before me and Amber broke up. No, about, no, about, about a month before we, about a month before we broke up. Yeah. And, um, I was, uh, like my teachers were worried about me, of course, but like, it just all came to a head one day. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm so tired. I am, I'm tired of all this stuff around me and I'm trapped. I am physically trapped with i don't see any way out and the only way out is just forcing my way out but luckily i didn't do that luckily i actually you know luckily that video came on that that day in the club meeting because i probably wouldn't have been here it was hard and after you know it was hard when we broke up because she was the only first serious relationship i ever had and i was upset and i cried but as time went on I was like, I'm free. I'm free. I can do me. I'm just me. I'm me again. And it it felt so good just to be able to hang out with my friends, see them again, not have to worry about someone texting me to get yeah. home because she's angry that I'm with so and so and so and so and so and so. You know, not having to be hit, not having to be called names, not having to anything like that. And the story where she she says that, you know, she wasn't mad at me for being trans, she was. Because I I the way I came out, I came out to three people this way. I watched the movie Boys Don't Cry when I was twelve. <laughs> I think I said this in my coming out story. I watched the movie Boys Don't Cry when I was 12 and I was like, I can be like that? I can, that, that's possible? Okay. And I was like, all right, I, I okay. And I felt connected to the main character because it just resonated in me at 12. And as I got older, I started dressing in more boy clothes. And I'm like, yes, yes, I, I understand this. I can be like that. And when I showed her, first I showed her the movie. I did this with everyone three i showed them the movie first i said Let, let's watch this movie i love this movie we watched it and she's like oh my god this is really good and i said i am the main character i feel what the main character feels i don't want to be a girl i want to be a boy and she goes well i'm not going to date a boy i like dating a girl and i was like okay and i and i said that's and she was like upset about it and when I told her, I said, well, when I have kids, you know, I don't, I don't want to be called mom. I don't want to be called mama. I want to be called papa. I've always wanted that. She looks at me and she goes, you'll never be a father. Why papa? You're not a guy. You'll never be a, their father. And it broke my heart. Did that make you um, scared to come out to other people then? No, because, I mean, I have no choice now. <laughs> I really don't. I have no choice now because it's like, it's not like I'm, I'm free to you or anything like that. I'm, you know, actually it's a, now when I do tell people, hey, I'm trans, they're just like, what? You don't look it. Like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> but 
but it's like I'm not uh, the only the first one who accepted it was my ex fiance. Um, we broke up under very cheating pers- circumstances on her part. But um, like I said, I was cheated on so many times. I'm not gonna get into that. I've been cheated on a lot. That's that's what I'm gonna say. A lot of my relationships ended like. That. But she accepted it, and a lot of people going forward that I've dated accepted it. They did. Um, now, as to kind of touch back on, has it affect? Has the video affected me? Yes. And the example is one, especially one very good example is when I was um, dating um, one of my exes. It was a couple of years ago, actually. Um, she was, you know, she, she delved in 4chan. She had an ex from 4chan, whatever. I don't even know if 4chan is a thing now. But uh, <laughs> she, and so she, you know, she had an ex from there and she started dating me and, you know, told him my name. Not my last name, but my name. And I guess, like, they saw pictures that she posted of me, you know, when we were having a date, whatever. And he recognized me. And I was like, oh no. Because I, the next day, she is pissed at me and i'm like what did i do like <laughs> i didn't do anything like we woke up then because she spent the night we woke up and she just wouldn't talk to me at all and was just so mad and hateful with me like what did i do like and then she like you know she went home and then later on i get a phone call about how he sent her all the amber stuff and she, she was mad at me for it and i was like i was going and we were only dating a month at this time i was like i was going to tell you when I was comfortable, we were going forward. But you, you, you should have talked to me about this instead of getting mad at me about it. Because I, you know, there, this is, I can tell you what happened. But he used it against me and continuously did that to where that would start fights between us. Eventually, you know, me and her broke up, but it would, that would start fights between us because an ex decided to use that stuff against me to you know get her back and whatnot and now i it's like well there's a new fear now that an ex is just gonna pull up all my stuff and use it against me to get me away from whoever i'm dating that's nice that's a new one you know i get scared that someone is going to like recognize me and send it to my job or send it to you know people i mod for you know on the side or send it anywhere like I'm, I'm terrified of that because in these days and age that can happen easily. And it's like, and that's why I keep so much of everything I do private because if they don't know, like exactly, you know, as I said, I, I work for Verizon, but, and then I like, I, but I won't say like the mod stuff, like, okay, I work for Verizon. You know, that's not, they send the video there. I doubt it's going to cause any traction. But, you know, other stuff I do would get affected by it. And I, that's why I keep a lot of my stuff private. I don't post a lot, as you've seen on my Instagram. I don't post a lot. I stopped on my YouTube because, well, I feel like everyone's there just for Amber drama. And uh, I wanted to be, a, you know, a YouTube gamer. I wanted to do that and do my art on there. But I can't no more because everything is Amber. You know, so I will send out links, be like, hey, you know, support this person. Hey, support this person. You know, because I, you know, with the subscribers I have, maybe I can make a difference with them supporting people because, you know, all I wanted to do was make, was become a YouTuber and help people in life. That's all I wanted to do. You know, I've seen, you know, like, like what Markiplier does, you know, that's so admirable what he does, what, how he helps people. There's other people who help people, you know, C-Dog VA, he helps people, you know, by doing these, like, these, like, uh, marathons and stuff on Twitch and all these other stuff. It's like, I want to do that, but unfortunately it got tainted. So it's like, if I ever do something like that, I would have to be, you know, an unknown face in the YouTube world. And it makes me sad because it just, it, it, it failed, it not really failed, but it got destroyed before it even began. Hmm. I didn't have, I only had a couple subscribers to begin with and then all of a sudden i got two thousand after the amber drama you know it makes me feel bad my highest viewed videos on my thing is about amber not my other stuff 
no one cares about my other stuff. No one cares if I if I talk or anything like that on my live streams or videos that I post because if it's not about Amber, they don't care. And it hurts, it hurts me a lot because I want to show people my dreams and stuff like that, what I want to do. I want to still become a manga artist. I still want to do anime. You know, I want to own my own business. That's why I went to business school, but it's like, can I really share all that with what's my, what, what's haunting me with what that little dark cloud that's over there? You know, is someone going to try to destroy me over that? Is someone going to try to convince people not to buy, you know, my manga or shop at my business because of that? It, these allegations, and I want, you know, I, I do want to say these allegations, they're not light allegations. They're not something to be taken lightly. They're not something you just throw out like she did. These, this is, I, this happened almost 10 years ago. I was 23 when I uploaded that. I am 31 now. I am, it's two years shy of 10 years since that incident. And it still haunts me. This is a lifelong repercussion of what she did. And she's not suffering for it. She doesn't care. I'm the one having to suffer for it. I'm the one who has to explain myself to whoever I date. I'm the one who has to, if someone finds a video, I'm the one who has to sit there and go through the whole mess and the whole story and the whole trauma and everything again. It's it, it, not her. And she, she doesn't care. And it's, I know people have said, have you, you know, will you take legal action? I didn't because I, at that time, I did not want to face her in a courtroom. I did not have the mental fortitude for it. I didn't. What about now though? It would take an extreme case for that to happen. Hmm. Cause I did promise myself. Like, like I promised myself if something happened, I would speak out more about our entire relationship like I am with you. Seeing your video, that made this possible. Now, if Amber did something to me directly towards me, that's when I would take legal action. So mm -hmm. I hope she doesn't. I hope she doesn't d direct anything at me because I, I, I will be honest, I don't want to take that route. I don't want to go to court. I don't want to suffer because... <sighs> The main reason why I don't want to do that is because I, I don't want her to use that as clout for videos. Because I wouldn't, I would not film any of that. I wouldn't want to. But a big part of me feels like she would. She'd be filming every little detail that was going on. And it is a very personal thing that would be going on. But she, I, that's why, that's, an, that's a, one of the big reasons is I don't want her to film it for clout. It's like, no, I'm not going to feed feed that. Makes sense, I get that. It's nice that you would stand up for yourself if she did direct anything towards you. <clears throat> yeah. But I don't blame you. Because her. I'm not... I'm not that scared child of her anymore. Yeah, that's what I, I am. Get. Yeah, I am not... I am not like that anymore. And they, she has one more chance. And if she tries, it's like... Okay, I see what we're going to do. And it is, and yes, it is a warning because I'm, I'm trying to, you know, she's probably going to see this. And yes, it is a warning. Don't do it. <laughs> like, don't do it. Don't, don't force that to happen. Don't do it. No one wants that to happen. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to see her face to face. I, get it. I don't want to put my brain through all that. I don't need it. I am happy with my life right now. I am in a place where I'm happy and I'm at peace and I have. I, you know, I want for not, you know, I need for not, I have a job I love, I have things on the side I do I love, I have projects I'm doing that I love, that I get to do, that I'm lucky to be able to do, you know, I have, I have, I have a full life. And I don't want, I don't want a court case to put a crack in. I get it. I know, I know it seems like She's gotten away with it all, but I don't think anybody would ever trade lives with Amber. She's got a miserable life. She has no friends. She has nothing. Nobody would, doesn't matter how, how much money she has, nobody would trade lives with her. I know it seems like she's gotten away with it, but she's got the most miserable life I've ever seen. 
So I don't know if that gives you comfort, but it gives me a bit. But you're it nicer makes, than me. Well, I mean, it makes me sad that she doesn't have anyone. Because no one should go through life without, you know, at least family. You know, she burned the bridge. She burned the bridge. I, you know. What are you hoping comes from this this chat, this interview? What are you What are you hoping comes next? I hope that from my from this. Um, others who have, you know, her other exes or anyone else, friends, maybe, that, um, they know that we may take time, but you can, you can break free of those chains that were put on you. And you're not alone with it. You're not, there's many of us went through the same thing, you know, maybe not in the same degree or intensity, but we all went through it. Uh, every single one of us and you know we we just gotta heal and we gotta just love ourselves again learn to love ourselves again honestly that's the number one thing you have to learn to love yourself again learn to be okay by yourself before being with anyone and just take time for you you know do things that you love do things that you enjoy you know to take little baby steps every single day. It's not gonna. It's not gonna get better overnight. I mean, I'm. I'm sure they all know this. I'm sure all of you know this. But it will. I promise. I really promise from the bottom of my heart. You know, it may take year, months, years, whatnot. But it, you will find your light again. Before we get to fan questions, is there any? <laughs> is there a? By the way, I said I said I was I was talking to Casey. Um, is there anything you want to ask? And I, and I said you, I said to you on Instagram, the amount of messages that were just saying, no question, I just hope he's all right. Just let him know that we're thinking of him, that we support him, that we believe him. How nice is that? That was that was lovely to see. That I seen some of those, yeah. and it just like it is so different from when it happened years ago. Like just the support, and. I couldn't be more thankful for all the support and all the love you all have shown, you know, from what I read. I try not to read the questions because I wanted to be, you know, I didn't want to spoil the questions, but I thank you for all the support, all of you. You know, I love all of you. I don't know all of you, but I love all of you. And I hope all of you, you know, wherever you're at, whatever time zone, whatever place on earth, you know, I hope you all have a great holiday and a safe holiday and please be safe in this world. Because the world is crazy, but find your peace and your safety, and I hope you all do well in the coming year. God, you're nice. You're so much nicer than me. <laughs> I seem awful compared. Well, there's not that many questions now because you've you've answered everything. You, I just I didn't want to miss anything out, and I might have missed something out, but you've answered everything I can think of. Um, so there's not that many because you've answered them all. Um, <laughs> oh well, well you kind of, uh, if you could say one thing to Amber's future partners. Uh, what would it be? Don't do it. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Don't do it. Watch these videos. Please be careful. You know, I... Be careful. Don't, don't, don't do it. Yeah. Please do your research on her, knowing that she's a YouTuber before you, you do this, because take it from the ones who have said stuff. I don't want, I don't want to add another, another damage X to the list with, you know, that you don't deserve that at all, at all. Uh, goals in life. What's your, what's your big goal in life now? To own a business, yeah. anime business. Yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> Do you think you'd ever upload to YouTube again? About your passions, about your hobbies? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. No, um, I think you should. It depends. I think people would watch. I I would hope they would watch for that, but it's going to take a while. Like, I'm going to let all this um, ease up. Yeah. You know, and if I do decide to come back, you know, I will post something about it, but uh, I don't know at the moment. I am very busy with a lot of things that I'm doing on the side, so I don't even... I barely have time, <laughs> even if I did. Do you know what you have answered? All the questions already. Well done. <laughs> Nothing wow. else. You'd answer them all. 
I, I, I wrote all my questions down because I didn't want to miss anything, but you've, you've, you've been great. Thank you. Sorry to all those who ask hygiene questions. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I said this before and I'll say it again. I'm not doing that. Y'all already know. So with my receipts, it's already came out. So take it from there. Are there any, um, are there any other receipts, emails, messages that you'd ever share with people about from, from both of you? Honestly, um, I shared everything. Um, I don't even have access to our old stuff anymore yeah, yeah. on my um, old Facebook, which, by the way, you know, whoever tried to get into it, I have security measures. I was alerted. Thanks. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't even have, I don't have access to any of those anymore. I don't have any messages or anything like that. Like, after that whole incident before, I completely wiped her. I do know that um, if you want clarifications to any of the stories, like the hot tub story, that one did not know about. And that was twice. She cheated on me twice with that. And I I wish I still had my old phone because I did have messages from her on there. But I don't know where that went. That thing is like, got that when I was 14. Oh, that's almost 20 years old. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't like knowing my, how old I actually am or how long things have been. But um, yeah, that was she admitted to that to me twice. And I know they slept together. That was new, but you know, water on the bridge at this point because what am I gonna do? Um, so there was another story I wanted to clarify, but I think I clarified them all, honestly. I can't, I can't think. Of it. I think you've I think you've answered everything. Um, is there any <laughs> is there any way the um, community can support you now? Is there anything you I don't know? Is there anything people can do for you? I mean, no, hmm. I mean, just keep being you guys and being great and, you know, following, you know, Mr. Snowflake and just, you know, do great for yourselves and just, you know, do great things in the world. That That's all. That's all I want you all to do is just go out and make this world better. That That's what I want. I, th I think, I think that's a perfect ending. Yeah, I think I'll end it there. <laughs> Thanks for thanks for talking to us. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't I didn't I didn't think you would. Like um, when I told the, the the Discord group I've got, I said, "Oh, I'm, I'm Casey's the first episode." And people said, "Oh, you should reach out for an interview." I, I said, "No, it's not even worth no." And then the episode went up, and you said, "Interview." I was like, "Oh, I should have asked." <laughs> But, um, yeah, it was an up. It was barely up an hour, and I got yeah. a an email like, oh, not an email, a uh, message on Facebook saying, "Hey, this is this is a video about you." And I'm like, "What?" And like, and I looked. I was like, "Oh, okay. yeah." They they found me very quickly. <laughs> I hope um, I hope this is some sort of I don't know closure for you all. Hope you feel better after this. I do. Yeah. Honestly, it feels like a big weight has been lifted off me because I was able to tell what I couldn't before. Yeah. What I was scared to before, um, because I was afraid of too much uh, repercussion. But you know, after seeing what her exes have went through, it's like you know what, you're not alone. You're never alone. You're not alone with it, with the, with with what happened. You know, I I went through it. Y'all have went through it. <sighs> You know, some of you have gone through it worse than me. And I will say that, you know, we all, yes, abuse is abuse, but there is a level of, and I see it. If you, it, And I will tell you guys now, when you watch, you know, all of his videos, you will see the increasing levels of her honing her skills. Because from me to Becky, holy sh**. That, she just, she went from zero to 100. It, and I will say that you're right, confidently. It, it, you're right. It does. It just, it just keeps getting worse. And, and then, yeah. And you think, oh god, it, it just gets worse and worse. And yeah, worse and worse. Anyway, we'll end it on a happier note. Thanks for talking to us. It's been lovely. I was dead nervous last night. Um, <laughs> and then I woke up all excited today. And then I got nervous again. But it's been lovely. Um, you're dead easy to talk to. Thank you. Oh, people tell me that. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, easy going. Um, yeah, uh, keep in touch. I'll, I'll, I've got your Discord Definitely now. Will. Got your Instagram. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll keep in touch.
Well, you know, thank you for this interview and Lamy talk, and I'm very honored to be the first person you interviewed. So. Oh yeah, that's what I was. Merry I, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that I told you on, in, on Instagram. I've been wanting to to interview people on this channel for years, and I'm just always too busy with the, the videos, and it's never come up. And I thought I'm never gonna do it, and now finally I get to to do an, an interview. Um, so thanks for that. Yeah, I've ticked a little goal off there because of you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, thank you. And thank you. Thank you so much for all this, and thank you for the video you made. Like, you don't understand how how much I appreciate that. I really do. You're very welcome. Uh, right. Um, I'll say bye to everybody who's watching. Uh, and bye to Casey. <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.